Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Scarred Sword. I'm Zelda Master and a tumbleweed. Let me try to pick this up really quickly. Uh, okay, wait, wait, let me just pick this up. Yeah, there we go. All right, in this episode, we're gonna be traversing, uh, traversing, that's the word, uh, the Great Sand Sea, cause that's where we are. And I honestly have no idea how we're supposed to do this, but I clearly do know how we're supposed to do this because I'm going to show you right now. So yeah, but I mean, it seems like, you know, we're kind of at a dead end. I mean, what are you supposed to do besides hit this time shift crystal? Will this actually allow us to uh, sail the great sea? Well, it actually will. Yeah, because you go back in time and believe it or not, back then there was once water in this giant sand sea and it has all changed in a time. So yeah, it's so much worse. Imagine actually taking this all in as you know, a sea with no sand at all, just no sand and just vast blue and green maybe, like all the way back, like those hills could be like Greenland or something, I don't know, or canyons, anything, just this is so barren and sad and when you see how awesome the water is, the water is so clear too, like this place would have looked so amazing, it really seems like all of this is just kind of like an afterthought like they made this huge sand area and like ah, oh, this is not as appealing so let's let's let people look at something beautiful by uh by traveling back in time but only in certain sections like we're never gonna see this whole area completely back in time i don't know man the Lanero province really raises questions for this game because it's it's ancient and it i i want to investigate what happened beforehand but we can't so yeah, because it's supposed to be like the first Zelda game, but hopefully we do see, or at least know, uh, you know, specifics on what happened to the Nero Desert and all of that. Because this is such an interesting tale, but I'm going to stop standing here and wasting time. I realize my intros tend to take a while because I like to recap, especially since I haven't recorded in a while. I think maybe that's the reason why I like to recap. It's kind of like to recap myself as well as you guys and uh, just... You know, play the game. But let's go ahead and speak to this guy here and uh, get on. So yeah, he came back to life because he was once, I guess, like extinct uh, until we hit the time shift crystal. So hmm, who are you, some human? Who am I? I'm the proud skipper of the ship that protects Nehru's flame. Nehru's flame. That's exactly what I'm looking for. That's uh interesting. So uh, it was the day of the storm. My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual. And then those brutes, the pirates, suddenly attacked us. They were after Nero's flame. My crew was imprisoned, and I was thrown into the sea. Why were they after the flame? I mean, they're not, like, igniting their sword with power. So, I drifted onto the current to this poor... I guess it's like treasure. You know, Nero's flame is something sacred, so pirates would want it, just for the status. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm answering my own questions. But after that, I took the boat and went searching for my ship and crew. But there was... Uh, there were nowhere to be found. There were nowhere to be found. Okay. I don't know. For some reason, I couldn't read nowhere. But yeah, it haunts me wondering where my ship could be. I bet my hat they've turned this, the ship invisible and are hiding somewhere. You, can, you can't see it. Wait, what? Why not? Why can't... Why did they turn it invisible? In order to protect Nero's flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. Then how'd you get caught by pirates, dude? You say you're searching for Nero's flame. Oh, so you're in need of Nero's slum. Yeah, to find someone important to you. Exactly, man. Link has capped this guy up. So, in that case, you should keep... You should help me search for my ship and crew. Well, your crew's most likely dead, unless we have a time shift crystal near him. But yeah, if you help me, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. I'll help then, of course. We need to, so we can continue on. I mean, he's literally going to lead us to where we need to go because he's also in search for his ship. So this is perfect. And for some reason, he has no trouble letting us take Nero's flame if he's protecting it. But I guess he knows we're destined. I Link didn't really say that. or I don't know. They didn't highlight over it, but I guess he understands. So yeah. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, which is mainly sand, you're going to need a proper sea chart. Okay. There's a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. It's your retreat. That's really cool. So first, you need to get on the boat and set course for Skipper's Retreat. All right, Captain Skipper, let's go. Let's do this. No point to really waste any more time. All right, let's go. Okay, so here we are. Hopefully, I remember to edit that out, but I was, like, coughing right now. Um, I think I'm coming onto a sick, which sucks because, like, I trying to get back into recording and stuff and yeah this is happening but my circuit sparked a life in the salt air room it feels good to take the seas again after so long but let's see if i can remember how to navigate 
bee 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 bee. I'm not gonna read any of this because we know how to control video games. All right, place the next on the mark. Go there by placing a beacon. He didn't say that, but we're gonna do that. So thank you very much. Let's get going now. So all right, let's go. So how I usually go with doing this is just press A to speed up, and then hug the wall. Oh my God, this music is so good. Honestly, Scared Sword has like, yeah, the best music in any Zelda game. I think I can say that without taking it back instantly, maybe. Honestly, I think I have this thing with Zelda where whatever game I'm currently playing, it's like the flavor of the month. I, like, I really appreciate that Zelda game because I'm replaying it, so it's like all fresh in my mind. I think that's really what it is, uh, but I can still strongly say that, you know, one Zelda game will always stand out from the others. That's Twilight Princess, of course, but you get what I mean. Okay, so yeah, we placed the beacon. I don't really have to check the map because yeah, it was just placed there. Now we can get out of the ship. We literally saw nobody. It was just pretty barren, even for going back in time. I guess because the only thing we see is the section that's around us with the time shift crystal making that part go back in time. So yeah, it's not as exciting exploring the sea. It's still nice, but yeah. So we arrived. This is it, Skipper's Retreat. We can tell that giant canyon mountain thing looks like Skipper. So my shack is at the very top. Okay. The sea chart we need is in my shack, but you're the one who will have to go get it. There are more monsters about, or, okay, there's more monsters. I can't wander from the boat. Yeah, because you'd die if he leaves this blue line here. Uh, he would not exist anymore, I guess, which is weird to think about, but it's true. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check this out. I don't think it matters. I mean, it's going to open up a little checkpoint on our map, you know, Skipper's Retreat, but I don't think you can actually land here. Or maybe you can. I don't know. I never really came back here after I finished this area because it's not necessary. But let's continue on. So, yeah. Sorry, I had to cough again. Uh, hopefully, I remember to edit this stuff out. I recorded this the same day I upload it. So, uh, you, you know, most likely I'd remember it because it should be fresh in my mind of what to edit out. But, yeah, I'm just saying hopefully I remember to edit it out because if I don't, you guys understand why there were costs. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm kind of coming on to a sick, which sucks. I don't know if I sound sick. I feel like I do, but I don't want to abandon you guys, if you know what I mean when it comes to uploads. Because I feel really bad, just like, especially this series. This series has been going on for half a year now, believe it or not. So, and I've been wanting to do this series for over a year. The second I got management on my channel and was able to do it, I started it immediately. But then, uh, I don't think this took a turn. And uh, everything is slowed down, so I just want to stay consistent as much as possible. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Why I feel like I'm, I have to explain myself. Get off of me, man! No, 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 no! I don't want to fight these guys. They're the worst because all they do is electrocute you one second after the other. Because so many of them, all different, uh, like patterns of when they want to electrocute you. So yeah, it's super annoying. But hook on to these flying weird plant thingies, which, uh, you know, if you play Twilight Princess, it should be a no-brainer that you can hook on to them and just continue hooking on with your claw shots until you make it up here, which I believe we're going to find uh, nothing. What's in this? Ooh, bugs. Okay. You know what? I think we already have some of these Linero ants, but ah! let's get another one. There we go, and Lanero Ant! I was actually right, I, cause I, maybe because I caught it. So yeah, three more bugs left. Hopefully we can get one more in this episode, because I'm pretty sure there's another Lanero bug I have yet to collect to begin with. So let's see if we find it. I'm gonna ignore this guy, though. No point to really kill him. Uh, let's kill that. And grab this. Okay, so from here you can literally take a nice uh, shortcut all the way back to Skipper and the ship if you use this. Don't though, it's unnecessary. Also, look at that. It's an area we're gonna have to go through so far away. Oh my god. Are those the clouds reflecting? <gasps> Man, I wanna come here in real life. Even though this would be so hot and like not fun, most likely, it'd be nice to see in person. So vast and huge. Sadly, it doesn't exist. But I'm sure there are areas like this on Earth that exist, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. I love fantasy-like settings. This is not really fantasy, this is more barren, and it can kind of fit in a post-apocalypse world. Apocalyptic? That's it. That's the word I'm thinking of. But yeah, it can kind of fit in that type of setting with just 
complete barrenness, but, uh, I don't know, for some reason it still looks really cool. Like, I, it, it has, like, this feeling to it where it's not strange. It just seems familiar, if that makes any sense. No idea why. I guess I just like, uh, the fact that this was once a giant sea, you know? Just the whole idea is really cool. I'm really fascinated by, like, small things within this game. Like, what catches me is, like, the things that wouldn't catch anybody else. Like, uh, you know, that wouldn't normally impress anybody, I guess. Let's go ahead and take out this fire phoenix dude. So, go ahead and show me your tail. Yeah. Yeah. And you're dead. Sweet. Same thing with this. Spin top it like that so it can create that weird flying plant. And then we can hook onto it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can hook straight onto it, which is pretty convenient. This is so cool how you just scale this. Like, slow. I mean, it's definitely different than anything else we've done. And, uh, I don't know, like, this small area, like, this episode, we're focusing on Skiffer's Retreat, which is just to retrieve a map. And it's so little, and it's something you can easily forget that happens within the game, but it happens. I just love exploring like areas like this like that has a whole meaning to it It's kind of like a mini dungeon. I guess you could say even though there's not really any puzzles no like not major any No major enemies nothing too important. It's just fun to traverse areas like this uh, Where it doesn't feel too linear If that makes sense, you know, I'm not just running from the uh, Province straight to the temple. I'm kind of like exploring around which I really like um this is weird. I feel like this is the first episode in forever where I'm like, uh, kind of appreciating Twilight Princess, or Skyward Sword, not Twilight Princess. But yeah, usually I like hate on Fi and stuff, and like I'm just like in a really bad mood when playing this game. And I don't know why. Maybe it's just like taking a giant, uh, time off is making me realize how much I really love this game, I guess. I don't know. Oh no, but I couldn't hook on in time, sadly. we This thing goes up and down, so we have to wait for it to go back up so we can hook on. And I think the same thing happens to the one over there. It like, moves up and down, so... Yeah, there we go. It's weird how Link ends up hooking on to the bottom part when we hook on to the side. I have no idea how this works, but we made it to Skipper's Retreat. This is it, guys. Alright, let's enter the door. Weird wooden door for everything else. I don't know why, it just doesn't fit. This whole area, but yeah, this music is so nice. Oh god! Okay, get away from me! Wow, this music is so loud in here too. Okay, um, so yeah, this is Skipper's retreat, guys. Say hello. It's pretty dirty. You know, he hasn't been here in a while. It's been years and years, and I don't know. I don't really know how long actually, but it's been a while. So yeah, <gasps> an ember relic. Sweet. They had this in ancient times. I bet they used to. Uh, eat them or something. I don't really, I doubt it. I don't think they had them. But wow, almost 30. I think we can actually get 30 within this room. Let's just keep looking around for some. See if we can find any more in sand. I mean, it's not like I need them. Or maybe I do. Let's just collect more. Come on, where are you? Show me. There's a chest here, and that's what we came up here for, of course. But, uh, I am gonna get to that in a second. I'm just looking for, oh yeah, these are Skipper's crew, I'm pretty sure. But they can't speak, because they're dead. So... Or I guess they don't exist anymore. I don't... How do you treat that? I mean, I guess they don't exist. But they do because you can bring them back to life. But it's like the timeline is over, essentially. Because without going back into time, they can never come to life. But then again, I can go to the bazaar and there was one that... Scrapper was repaired. So, yeah. Master, I have determined that... This is Skipper's Sea Chart. No way! I, it's not like the game told me that. Master, look over there. What is it? Oh yeah, a bunch of cool uh, pictures. And Skipper holding out another robot. Like, freaking the Lion King it looked like. With the monkey holding Simba. But yeah, so that is the ship con uh, containing near some how, how do you look at an image in your shirt that this is it? But look at his crew. It was filled. Wow, I just realized how amazing this picture looks. Like... Okay, so you got like two cutouts of this, of like, you know, zoomed in photos of Skipper and maybe maybe the pirates, like, you know, the portraits of pirates and then his whole clan. Holy crap. This music really adds. But yeah, this here reminds me of like the Lion King and I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, that iconic scene. Uh, 
but I can't tell. Is that is it? Is he holding? It looks like yeah, he is holding someone, and it looks like the image is torn. And then here, just you know, Captain Skipper saying hi. We got looks like rupees, like drawings of rupees on the wall. I don't know. Uh, I, overall, this is pretty cool though. I don't think there are any more pictures. We got an anchor though. It's kind of neat. Uh, what's this? Ooh, uh, okay, so you really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission, even if there is instinct, you know? We shouldn't look through their stuff. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, game. What's this here, though? <gasps> oh my god, was this an idea of how the sea looked? Whoa! Wait, okay, wait, let me just move this crap. Or this is actually... Okay, this sand you can't actually move. This is the sand that you can't, huh? Whatever. All right, well, might as well sit, you know, have a little rest, replenish my hearts. Report, master, what? I've... What? Huh. Somehow she... has dedicated bugs? How is that even possible? Oh, you know what? There are bugs on top of this roof. I just remembered. I don't remember telling you that. That's cool. I wanted to sit down and replenish my hearts, and then it caught me off guard. Like, report, master. You can find bugs on the roof. Uh, you can't really hook on like that, but what you want to do is you want to walk outside of the house, and yes, there's this and that. You can hear... What is that? What's that buzzing noise? I heard it for like a millisecond. I don't know what that was. Oh, these guys. Okay. So, just one. Just one. Yeah. Yes! We got it. And, uh, yeah, this was a new bug. Yes, it was a new bug. Sweet. Okay, two more left, guys. This is awesome. <sighs> okay, so I pr I'm pretty sure we are done with the sand ship. Or, eh, uh, whoa, sand ship. Sand ship is where we want to, like, what we need to find, skipper ship. But, what we are done with is skipper's retreat. So let's go retreat to skipper, literally. But before you do that, there's a chest I skipped over. You don't want to jump over here. I'm assuming what the game wants you to do is take the shortcuts back, like this one right here. But don't be dumb. What you want to do is you're a loft wing rider, right? So you're used to jumping and diving and not <coughs> giving a crap. And I'm coughing mid-sentence. But yeah, don't give a crap. Because what we want to do is jump down. Skydive all the way down until you... Oh, okay. I could have used something to heal myself or rather... <laughs> to catch myself sailcloth it would have made the landing easier but yeah this is gonna net us a silver rupee by diving down and then we can make our way to skipper which is pretty cool so yeah uh how does that float your boat guys i bet it's uh pretty interesting i bet you're jealous too that i did all of this on my own without help yeah i, I made it through skipper's retreat this is actually really easy and uh and I, I don't think I've played this part of the game in so long, so yeah, not much really, like thinking required in this area, but uh, yeah, if you ended up not diving down, you would have taken a shortcut from up there to here, and then from here to down there, but you would have missed out on a freaking hundred smackers, and I'm sure you don't want that, so what's up man, I found your thing, so you got the seed chart, now we can navigate properly, okay, let's go on to the ship. Shall we set sail? Not yet, because that will happen in the next one. I'm going to end off the episode here. I'm going to cough my lungs out, and hopefully tomorrow there won't be as much coughing. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda, Scoured Sword. I've been Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.